After a long, stressful day, what better way to recharge than a nap? There's no better feeling than napping a bit before getting back to work. But there's more to napping than you might think. Here are 22 facts about napping. Before we begin, we at Psych2Go are grateful for each and every one of you for watching this video and supporting our community, even though you should be taking naps right now. With your help, we are able to make psychology more accessible to everyone. Now on to the facts. 1. It doesn't mean what you think. If you know you have to pull an all-nighter, try a prophylactic nap. Typically, these naps last for about 90 minutes. It's a short nap in advance of expected sleep deprivation that will help you stay alert for up to 10 hours afterwards. 2. You can't avoid that down period after lunch by not eating. Human bodies naturally go through two phases of deep tiredness, one between 2 to 4 a.m. and between 1 to 3 p.m. Skipping lunch won't help this period of diminished alertness and coordination. 3. Pick the right time. After lunch in the early afternoon, your body naturally gets tired. This is the best time to take a brief nap, as it's early enough to not mess with your nighttime sleep. 4. Hour naps are great. A 90-minute nap improves the alertness for 10 hours, although with naps over 45 minutes, you risk what's known as sleep inertia, that groggy feeling that may last for 15 minutes to 30 minutes. 5. But short naps are the best. For healthy young adults, naps as short as 20 to 30 minutes can help mood, alertness, and performance. Drink coffee first. The way this works is that you drink a cup of coffee right before taking your 20 minute or half hour nap, which is precisely how long caffeine takes to kick in. That way, when you wake up, you're not only refreshed, but ready to go.